guys? If you're new here, my name is Connor Bates and I am a photographer and videographer based out of Las Vegas. And the inspiration for today's video is essentially that there has been time and time again in my creative career and journey where I was simply just too broke to buy anything and it feels good to buy things. So I thought, okay, you know, I've seen some videos before about like cheaper, inexpensive things for creatives or photographers to buy. And I'm like, you know what? I have my own arsenal of inexpensive and useful, keyword useful pieces of equipment that I use all the time. And I'm like, why am I gatekeeping? I can share this with the people. So I went into my closet, looked at my rack of equipment, and just easily picked out a couple things where I'm like, I use that every day, that's under a hundred bucks. I use that every day, that's under a hundred bucks. So that is what this video is about. And let's hop into it. So the first thing that came to mind and the thing that I use almost every single day, if not multiple times a day, I'm actually using right now to light up my face. This is the Aperture MC. It is their compatible mobile light and this thing kicks freaking butt. First, I just, I'll say that it has incredible weight to it. This thing feels like you could throw it off a building and it will survive and potentially cause danger to the people below you. I wanna say that it's even made with some metal. There's metal around the edges here. If we can metal around the edges and along with some plastic to not make it too heavy, but we've also got the magnet strips on either side so you can just plop it to anything metal, which is so satisfying to me. Also, that's very useful when you don't have a way to perfectly mount this anywhere. You can just find something metal, snatch it on, and you're good to go. Beyond that, this thing has so many lighting modes and configurations that you, there's, it's impossible to be left empty handed with this. It's got, of course, your color temperature control. It's even got built in effects inside of it. You can change the entire hue spectrum. You can adjust saturation, you can adjust luminance. And as I'm doing this, I'm realizing that I chose the worst time to demo a light because it's daytime. Smoothie break. Also, this thing comes with an array of accessories also for the low price you're getting it for. You get this travel pack here, right? Super just handy. It's got a loop on the back so you can attach it to whatever backpack you're traveling with. And it's just so nice and compact. And it even comes with things that I haven't touched yet. It comes with its own charging cable and just some sticky pads to uh, mount it to just a further array of, oh, wow. I'm just realizing that these are Velcro pads. That's why I hadn't used them, because I'm like, oh, if they're one-off, like sticky pads, these are Velcro pads. You can attach a piece of Velcro to something in your studio that you use often and just slam your Aperture MC on it. How, how would that sound? <laughs> and it will stay there. This is, I, I'm, I'm discovering things as we go. Also, it comes with a diffuser so that you're not getting as sharp of a light if you don't want it. You can diffuse it and it becomes this nice glow, this nice little sun in your hand. So that's the Aperture MC. This thing goes for a whopping $90. And I will say that it is the best $90 purchase that I have made probably ever. Next up is something that I did not think I would use to the extent that I have used it. It is one of the cheapest purchases that I have ever made, and it has probably proven to be one of the most useful. And it's no other than a wire organizer. Boom, right there, check it out. Uh, all that. All that. Nowadays, you get a wire or a new cable with almost every piece of technology that you purchase. And if you don't organize them, it quickly becomes an infested jungle vine of cable. And I've got SD card adapters right here. SD card adapters. I mean, look, just look at how satisfying this is. Oh, it's falling out. This is gold, boom. This goes for a whopping $12, $12, that's it. That's the easiest $12 you'll ever spend. That's a Chipotle. 
in some places. In Vegas, it's a Chipotle, so with guac. Next up, this one's short and sweet. It's the Gobi One Peak ND filter. This thing I take to every single shoot that I go on. I throw it on my Sigma 24 to 70. This one's the 82 millimeter, but you can adjust depend, uh, depending on the Amazon page. You can adjust which size you need. So this is not one size fits all, just a disclaimer. But this allows you to stick to the, the camera settings that you want to stick with and ultimately allows you to get that cinematic, perfectly exposed shot that everyone dreams of. It won't stop once you go past the area that it is stopping. It won't stop in the area that it's stopping. So this is the trade-off you get for a cheaper ND filter. It doesn't stop, so you have to pay attention. You have to look and see when it's going to stop within the lines versus other more expensive ones. It stops for you. You don't have to worry about that. This is going for a whopping $57. $57 to create those perfectly exposed shots that you're always going for. That is a no-brainer to me. Next up, we have the meanest, the baddest, the most despicable headset that money can buy. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer. Why do I need a gaming headset with a mic? like those pro MLG gamers have. Well, listen, we don't have to corner ourselves into which, just one niche, okay? I'm on my computer a lot. I use Discord, I use Zoom, I use other calling and video call apps. Having a headset that has amazing audio, it's adjustable, it's comfortable, and it has a mic built into it right there, boom. That is a game changer for me because I don't have to worry about, like my desk setup, my desktop setup does not have a built-in mic. My laptop does, but when I'm not on my laptop or my iPad, I don't have an option to speak. So having this is so awesome. Plus I play video games and it's an incredible gaming headset. And next to the cable organizer, this is arguably the next most affordable and useful piece of equipment. This headset, Astro A10, goes for a whopping $26.95 on Amazon. $26. I remember when I was a kid, you couldn't get a headset for under like $100, 70, 70 to $100 for a like piece of crap headset. And last but not least, we have the sunset lamp. I'm sure you've seen this on TikTok, on Instagram, people's goals, desk setups, you're like, what is causing that nice, diffused little ray of light across the wall? What's creating that beauty across the wall? Most likely, it's this bad boy. If I'm looking to spice up a set that I'm shooting in as a background light, if I'm looking to make a thing that I'm taking a picture of just a little bit more interesting, this is my answer. You can cast these perfect circles on the wall. You can cast like long rays, like I was mentioning, if you like, Say this is the wall, this is the wall. You cast it like that way, it creates this like spray of light. Just another thing that doesn't break the bank to add production quality or just a vibe to the areas that you're living and working in. And once again, keeping this price low, this goes for a whopping $17.99 on Amazon. Almost a no brainer. I understand that's even 17 bucks, that can be steep sometimes, but for the amount of use that you and that I have gotten out of it, and it extends too, I'm pretty sure. Just kidding, no it doesn't. It's worth it. So for your another, this is, this is two of two lighting solutions for this video. Check it out. So that is it for today's video, guys. I just want to put you on a little bit of game for those of you that are not trying to break the bank, but one, want to satisfy that just, you know, go on Amazon and purchase something and it shows up the next day because we all love doing that. But also some practical things that could make your life easier as a creative or just as a person that wants to have an easier flow of life. So that's all from me, guys. Throw a comment down if you end up getting any of these things. Let me know what you think. DM me on Instagram, all of that. And if you have some other solutions that you're looking for, Comment them below and I'll see if I can find something for you. So that's all and I will see you on the next one.